Uh, g'day, it is Ben here from Hunt the Night. Now, Jake is here, he's just behind these boxes. No, he's not. I feel like I'm cheating on him a little bit, but for this video, it's just gonna be a quickie, and um, there's not a lot of room to put Jake on set today, because what I'm gonna introduce to you is all these wonderful things we can now do with this Nova. So this is a little Nova 1.1 update, okay? Previously in our last video, we spoke about how to power the Nova, which is by this little, um, uh, little connection here, which gives us 12 volt and regulated 12 volt, and that's still an option, okay? But what Infra, well, sorry, Knockpix have now done is allowed us to also, they've done an update that allows us to run it off 12 volt. Now, this is a little bit of a Frankenstein unit, but I'm running this Nightcore uh, IP68 rated uh, battery system here to power this. Uh, we can also power it off uh, the Venom. I, I was just really low battery. Um, so I didn't do it like that. But we're also working on solutions to have a fair bit of power up here to allow you to run this completely uh, cable free, okay? Which is, which is unreal. Um, people have asked, what's this like driving down the road? You know, it's one thing pulling up in a paddock and having a scan. So the footage that I'm rolling is just me driving down the road in the rain, well drizzle. Really, really bad day. So you'll see everything is kind of washed out except the animals will really pop because there's a huge temperature difference going on while I was doing this, but I wanted to show you how good the Wi-Fi is, okay? Um, look, and we've demonstrated on various units how, how good Wi-Fi is. There's no exception to this, it's just where it needs to be to compete with the likes of, you know, the other Knockpix units, the Hick Micro version twos, the Thermtex, which are all brilliant over Wi-Fi. Um, this is also good over Wi-Fi. It's what we expect, it's not a surprise to us, given that for the last two years, We've hardly been hardwiring anything because you just don't need to. Um, but what this now does though, being able to run it off 12 volt, means it opens up a huge way to mount this without having to drill through your roof, without having to use special brackets, or without having to do anything like that, okay? So we've got a couple of various options here. We've got the Lone Shooter, which is a complete shooting system for shooting from the window, where you can run your thermal up here, and using something like this bracket, um, this dual piece bracket, you can you can run the, the Nova on one side and you can run a battery on the other. Completely no needed. The power strut window system here from Powerbeam, which is also fantastic, okay? Um, it actually, it's got a strut system that just sits in your window. If someone doesn't want something permanently attached, you've seen this on other videos we've demonstrated, um, where you can, don't even need a spotlight, you can just put the thermal here. Or you can run a rim top onto it or a Wild Game Innovations bracket or one of these brackets, you know, whatever you want to do. Again, keeping the thermal above the spotlight is the best way to do it for both alignment and also um, for when you're driving, wind resistance as well. You want to keep that spotlight as low as possible. The higher you bring that spotlight, that's what your roof does, okay? Um, we've got shadow mounts. These mounts here, you can attach these to um, your, uh, your door frames. Uh, we've got ones also that attach to quad bikes. Um, we've got ones that also hang off uh, roof racks as well, can attach to a roof rack. So there's so many different options now to mount this unit that just don't require anything else except a simple mount and a bracket and a power pack. These things are unreal. Now, all of that's fantastic, but guess what else we've got coming? It's like one of those, but wait, there's more. We've got a solution coming that's gonna allow you to use this as a handheld thermal monocular. Now, it's not gonna be the same as holding up to your eye like other handheld monitor, thermal monitors, but we've got something that at least, you know, if you're gonna use this 80%, 90% of the time on the roof, but maybe you wanna take it down because you're looking for, you know, trying to recover an animal uh, type thing in some thick scrub or some bush, we've got something coming that's gonna allow you to use it as a handheld thermal monocular, but we will keep that for another video. Anyway, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that a little update. Uh, these things are gonna be absolutely mind-blowingly good and huge sellers for the remote mounting uh, community, especially professional harvest and stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, pre-order, or they could even be available at huntthenight.com.au.